Hello, this is Rabbi Bolton speaking to you from Brooklyn, New York. By the time you see this, it will be after the holidays. By me, it's right before the holidays. And it's a preparation for the first chapter of the Torah that we're beginning to read this week, Bereshit, which tells us the amazing and beautiful, happy but sad ending story of God creating the world and putting man in it in order to improve the world to make the world into a perfect place. And Adam, of course, he had no experience and he had no one to learn from. So he didn't succeed in his job. But we do have experience and we do have to learn who to learn from. And that's why God gave us the Torah to know what to do. And he gave us Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to know how to do it with self-sacrifice. We have to understand that the same God who is giving us these commandments and giving us the responsibility, the greatest gift possible for a human being, responsibility, and that we are important, every person is indispensable to do his unique job. As these great gifts are given to us by the creator of the world who's creating the whole entire world. So God is giving us two gifts. He's creating us and he's giving us responsibility. And with his responsibility, he's also giving us the power to choose the right thing. Our responsibility is to choose correctly. Often means defying the world, defying our own selves. But the end to worship only the Creator and only the Creator through His Torah. So now is our chance to be like the first man, to start a new world, to begin again, to understand the importance of every word of the Torah, every idea of the Torah, the interpretations of the great rabbis, to live a happy life. Rabbi Mendel Futafes, my teacher, told me that the secret of happiness is trying to make God great. And the reason for depression is trying to make yourself great. So this coming week, let us begin to make the creator of the universe great and realize how amazing and miraculous and wonderful this creation is if we just put the proper input by our thoughts, deeds, and action, we make the world a perfect place. Now, God willing, next Wednesday I'll begin giving classes again, as it was before. So I hope to see you, I hope you all see me, and God bless you all, that we should have a, a perfect Shabbat Bereshit, and the coming week should reveal the world that God wanted when He created Adam, a perfect world, all the Jews together, in the Holy Temple, in the land of Israel, and all of the world serving only the Creator according to the seven Noahide commandments. God bless you all. Shabbat Shalom with Mashiach now.